From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon as the markets die. Just some more retail sales numbers coming in and all the latest details. How are you on today's Afternoons LA? We go over the latest details on a very confusing economy as several Fed governors speak and they have conflicting comments. This is why you have to give massive stimulus. We'll be looking at the state of stimulus today as Congress got major changes for both the House and the Senate. What does it mean for your wallet? That stimulus coming up in just a second. But we had a very confusing 24 hours where Target missed Walmart beat, Macy's beat, Kohl's missed, and more companies were bought a minute ago, like Fort Locker like Foot Locker, like Williams Sonoma, did they beat on the retail sales? It's fascinating. Plus the breaking details on the housing market. Housing market crashing more than ever before. We'll look at the brand new existing home sales for the ninth particular month released minutes ago. This is October data. And what did it show for existing previous homes selling in the marketplace? Not good. I'll have the latest details across the board. Plus, we will be looking at what analysts are seeing in these Fed comments from Boulard Daily and also from Bouchard. These are very, very confusing comments left and right that signals potentially that the interest rate spike for December will be a half basis point, not 75 basis point, but that there would not be a Fed pivot. What do we know? All the latest details across the board. Plus, massive stimulus coming to millions of Americans, billions of Americans. Act, and I'm going to show you how members of you, the Purple Power, are getting it. It's massive amounts of money, $300,000 in checks, 300 different checks, FSCs, and a brand new success story. Today's rock. A brand new success story from another viewer who cleaned up with nearly $50,000 plus dollars this week alone. It's great money. It's FSC. It's Black Friday stimulus checks. It is also Thanksgiving stimulus checks. It is ISC. LSC and more from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Thank you for joining me on a live broadcast of Wall Street Live on LA3 and Afternoons LA on LA1. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, let's get to the breaking news starting right here, right now for a beautiful November 2022. Good morning, everybody. Housing data came in and it was weak again. Existing home sales down, new home sales starting down, builder confidence yesterday down. In fact, this graphic is from several months ago, but I can still run the same graphic. Why? Because the data has been consecutively poor. Well, I'll go into that breaking housing data in just a second. Stay the big second half to today. We have massive stimulus checks for you. $300,000 of checks, 300 different checks for you, SSI, SSDI, Social Security Railroad Benefits, every U.S. state, big sums of money, very simple to get, very simple to achieve, and new success stories in today's re recording as well. That's coming up additionally across the board. Plus, we'll be looking at the latest details on the markets as the markets open today. We'll be Wall Street Live on the markets, what's happening with the Dow, the NASDAQ, and also what's happening with the Treasury yields in view of the latest details on the retail markets. This is what we start with right away. Target is still rippling the markets days later because Target really missed dramatically in those third quarter earnings released earlier this week. Miss on top, miss on bottom, top revenue, bottom earnings, 50% down compared to the prior quarter. Ouch. Now, when you jump over to Walmart, they had a major mitt. They had a major beat. So Target missed, Walmart beat. It wasn't just those two folks. When you went over to Macy's and Kohl's yesterday, Macy's had a gangbuster, wonderful third quarter. Kohl's did not. 
And so this is the kind of narrative we're dealing with, that suddenly this is a very confusing economy. You see demand destruction occurring because of what Jay Powell and the Federal Reserve is doing at some businesses, but not all. Let's look at the numbers of the ones that came in just minutes ago. Again, this is Wall Street Live and also Afternoons LA on this channel. Holidays LA will return tomorrow across the board. 60% of Americans are now living paycheck to paycheck, says a brand new report. More consumers have, who historically manage their budgets comfortably are feeling the financial strain and the impact on their spending behavior during this holiday season, says Anunaya, Lending Club's financial health officer. So he says discretionary spending is no longer available. That's exactly what they said when the target numbers were released. But let's look at some brand new numbers today on Wall Street Live. Foot Locker shares are up 14%. The shoe seller saw massive beat on top and bottom in their third quarter earnings released minutes ago. The apparel footwear retailer also had such a great quarter that they raised outlook and forecast for the whole rest of the year. So hold up. You have Macy's really bad. You have Kohl's revoking, pulling back, pulling, uh, canceling their, 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 their full year end forecast yesterday. And then you have Foot Locker doing the absolute reverse, saying we had such a great quarter. We're actually, we're, we're actually raising our full year forecast. We're keeping it in place and we're actually raising it. Gap. What do you think happened to Gap? This one was the one that I had to look at twice. And I'm like, I'm still looking at it right now. Do you think Gap beat or do you think Gap miss? Now, remember what everything went on with Kanye West with Gap? Remember all the problems about consumer demand? Do you think Gap drew or did not drew? Uh, before you answer that, jump in the live chat, Gap beat or miss, I want to go over to something a little bit more obvious, Williams-Sonoma. That's higher end market. Williams-Sonoma is not a Dollar Tree. It's not a Dollar General. So if you see a Macy's beat, maybe you think, oh, Williams-Sonoma really beat because that's even more higher end than Macy's. Well, no. Williams-Sonoma slumped 8.1% in pre-market trading as it said it would not reiterate outlook for the, for the next year because of economic uncertainty. But it did report better than expected earnings and profits for the latest quarter. So they did beat on top and bottom, but they're a little bit worried about next year. This is what we're hearing, folks, in the marketplace. We're hearing that the real high-end market is holding up quite well. And that uh, the middle and that the low end market not so well across the board, but it's you can't generalize because remember Walmart beat and did really well. Walmart did really well and Williams Sonoma did really well, and then things in between didn't particularly do that great or inconsistent. So you can't really generalize. Very very fascinating. How about Ross Stores? If you think Williams Sonoma beat, do you think Ross Stores missed? Because Ross is lower in the market, the, uh, market consumer than a William Sonoma. Well, no, <laughs> Ross stores beat top and bottom, up seventeen percent of pre-market trading right today. So let's go back to that gap number. Gap is sort of middle of the market. Do you think they missed or did the beat? They actually beat. 5.1 percent up uh, that stock trading right now on Wall Street Drive. Wow. So when you look at the cumulative narrative of those those companies, most of them beat, very few miss. The ones, of course, that miss were Target and Kohl's, and the vast majority of them really beat, and some of them beat really dramatically. Fascinating across the board. Not beating is the housing. The housing is not doing well. You see that housing drop number? Well, here we go. Sales of existing pre-homes fell 6% compared to the month of September. According to the National Association of Realtors, this is the slowest pace of, of uh, housing since December 2011. Of course, that's the last recession. Sales are down at 29% year to date, and sales were down for, uh, substantially on a monthly basis. The median home price in America draw, uh, was actually up 6.6% .6 compared to the prior year, but the sale price is dropping dramatically. Inventory levels are still tied, which is why some homes for sales are still receiving multiple offers. In October, the housing data re revealed that homes sitting on the market are there 
uh, for longer periods of time. They are now going from, you know, 20 days on the market to they're sold to 120 days to get sold. Wow. Uh, and that the average price of the home has been now reduced by 15.8%. But yesterday we saw some of the data on the housing numbers that was actually worse across the board. The other thing we're dealing with right today, and I got to tell you, this is the story that everyone's talking about. Everyone is talking about this story. Is these Federal Reserve governors suddenly, after months of really keeping their narrative in place and keeping the same script on point, they're digressing. In just a very short period of time, we have now had Mary Daly, the Fed governor out of San Francisco. We have had... Um, we have had uh, Boulard, the Fed governor out of St. Louis. We've had Waller, Waller, Wallace um, have fascinating comments. And they're all very, very different in just a short time, I should say, Waller. Fed governor Christopher Waller said that he is open to reducing the interest rate spike per month, but other than that, he doesn't have a lot of other things to know at the moment. He says, looking forward to the December meeting, the last few weeks, it made me more, com it made me more comfortable to considering, not doing, but considering a 50 base point hike instead of 75 basis point. But I won't be making a judgment about that until I see the PCE number, which is December 1st, of course, featured live on this channel. That is the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index. The welcome news, we must be cautious about reading too much into one inflationary report. I don't know how sustained the deceleration in consumer prices will be. Stop right there. He says that prices have decelerated substantially. Uh, do you agree? <laughs> I don't agree. In fact, the other Fed governors don't agree as well. So I don't know what he's looking at to seeing there's a massive deceleration of price points in the last month. I don't know what the world is he talking about. I cannot, and, 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 and I cannot emphasize enough that one report does not make a trend. I don't see a trend down. <laughs> What trend? I don't see a trend down. I'll pull the CPI data with you in one second, but I don't know what he's talking about. He says there's a trend line down. He says there's a trend line. That he says there is a there's a one month of data down, and that doesn't make a trend. Well, I don't even see a one month down. I see a one month up. <laughs> the trend is up. I don't see a trendy down. Here's Boulard. So far. The changes in monetary policy appear to have only had a limited effect on observed inflation, but market pricing suggests de disinflation is expected in 2023. Yeah, they just conflicted each other. They just contrasted each other. Here is Boulard saying that the prices will come down next year and that what they've done this year with interest rate spikes hasn't really worked yet, hasn't been felt yet. And that's totally different than Waller. I mean, it's, it's shockingly different. Let's go to a third governor. Third governor is Mary Daly out of San Francisco. She said she went to the marketplace. She went into talking to the landlords, the renters, and she saw the rent is going down across the board. She's in San Francisco. I mean, of all places, she says the rent is going down. And yet, that's not reflected in the current data. Now, she's using live data. She's not do, using delay data. But the delay data, the CPI released just last week, show that the rent is up the largest rise in one month since 1990. That is up substantially year to date. That the rent is actually up 0.1%. Almost, excuse me, almost 1% across the board. So I'm just very perplexed by these people. Suddenly we have gone from hearing them say that they're in agreement that'll be 2% as the price point, as the point for inflation uh, to be gotten. Number two, that they need consecutive months of 2% inflation. Number three, that um, they're using this, the PCE and the CPI. And now they're just all over the place. And now they're starting to say, well, one saying inflation is starting to come down a little bit. Others saying, no, it has not. Others saying that maybe we have a trend we're down. I just don't know what the world they are looking at for that data. Because here we go. Let's pull the CPI from 11.11. Uh, the Consumer Price Index for the month of October, and I got the data for you right now, actually increased. It didn't go down. It increased 0.4%. 7.7% compared to the prior year. Of course, the headline numbers were up. Let's look at the component parts. What was down in the prior, in the latest CPI inflationary report? Only three things were down. <laughs> Medical, used cars, and apparel. So why are these Fed governors talking about uh, a, a great report, a promising report, not a trend line, but a showing the potential of a trend line? What? 
used car sales were down and apparel's down. Look at like everything else that was up. And when it was up, I gotta tell you, it was up a lot. This is very dangerous, this sort of generalities that some of these Fed governors are saying. Let's look at rent up 0.8% in the latest CPI, up 7% year to date. Let's look at oil, fuel, this is utilities, up 20% in one month and up 70% year to date. Let's look at food, up 1% in the in the current month and up 11% year to date. I, I, I don't know what they're seeing that's down in the latest inflationary data. It doesn't make sense to me because they're clearly not leading with data. They're leading with, well, it's a little bit weaker it's a little bit less high than we expected. Let's say that again. It was expected to go up, inflation, but it didn't go up as much as it was supposed to go up. Okay, that doesn't mean you're going down. It's like, okay, are we going to go this way or are we just going to go this way? Well, we still went up with a finger. <laughs> it wasn't a down month. And there's nothing really downward trending except used car sales. And that's not enough to gauge inflation. And that's really, my friends, why you have to get all this incredible stimulus. It's a very, very confusing economy, and it's a very, and an even confusing federal governors. Imagine what it's doing to everyone else. Big stimulus is available right now, and the value of the membership of ch this channel suddenly went through the roof because this is the stimulus that's here, this is the stimulus that is staying. This is the stimulus that is live. This is the stimulus that's paying this week for Black Friday, for Thanksgiving. And this is the stimulus that viewers are getting. Whether you're waiting, whether you're not a member of this channel and waiting for stimulus on the horizon, you better not wait because that wait time is not looking good. I'll explain to you why in the big second half. This is looking great. And it's three categories of checks, federal stimulus checks, FSC, nearly 300 of those checks, $300,000 of money for you to get. How do you get it? You become a member, go right on this video. Then inflation relief stimulus checks, ISCs. They're great. They're from your states, nearly $1,000. Next up, a lifetime stimulus. Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. And in today's recording, we're going to analyze all that and more. We're going to go over every single check that you can get as a member of this channel. Welcome to the brand new members of this channel. And let me show you what happens when you become a member. Kimberly Romano is a brand new member. She is not, um, she is not the, the other view out of Florida. She is not um, this person. Uh, she's Kimberly. She is not Frank Mancuso. But read Frank Mancuso's graphic right here as I tell you Kimberly Romano's success story. Frank Mancuso in, on the graphic there, it says 18 months of mortgage, 18 months of utilities, 18 months of high-speed internet from check B. I mean, folks, that's $10,000 right there in less than one month of just paying a few dollars to become a member. That's Frank Mancuso. Here is Kimberly Romano. Compare this to Frank Mancuso. She says, I want to share of all the Purple Hawks. I just applied for check B in March, and I just got approved in August. And I got approved for 18 months. Sound familiar? Yeah. 18 months of HOA fees at $360 a month. Wow. And 18 months of utilities. Insane. So hold up. If you have five utilities bills a month, and then you have your HOA fees of three hundred and sixty, folks, that's about uh, that's about four or five thousand dollars a month. Four or five thousand dollars a month times eighteen months, folks, that is a lot of money. That is a lot of money. That is over fifty thousand dollars. It's unclear how much your utilities are a month. Uh, Kimberly, if you're watching, send me a private message. I want to know how much your utility bills were, because that, folks, is tens of thousands of dollars, close to to hundred thousand. Then she also got on top of that four thousand dollars of her property taxes paid as well. That was past due. She's not done there yet. That's all just check B. She also went and applied for check A. That's how she do it. That's how you do on this channel. You keep on getting stimulus. And she recently applied for check A. And I was so elated when I got the email about my approval. Kimberly, how much did you get for check A? I want to know that as well. Margaret Owens, also brand new success story. She got $600 more for utilities, and that is on top of the thousands of thousands of dollars that Margaret has gotten for this channel. She's looking at like, she says that's like about six more months that she's looking on potentially getting for, uh, for utilities this week. Wow. This is what viewers are doing. This is what you should be doing. Go in right on this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcito VIP. Let's look at those incredible checks by looking at the first three category, three checks of those FSCs starting right now. There are three 
categories of checks, but the first ones are federal stimulus checks, FSC, from the President and Congress. What are they? How do they happen? What do you need to know? Let's look at them right now. The first three checks of FSCs, a, B, and C were passed by the President of the United States in the month of March. Single individual, 75000 less, go get it. Married couple, 150000 less, go get it. Yes, $100,000. Reach X, passed by the President, by executive action. In March, you go get them. How do you get them? You go around this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP, join this channel. Then go down the membership newsletter delivered from me to you, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Air Time, and get those incredible check A, B, and C. Don't worry, I'm going to go through all this with you over this one-hour broadcast. Stay the big second half. Then came Congress, and after these check A and B and C were done, they passed more checks, bringing us to hundreds of checks, and you want to pounce. Those hundreds of checks E through K are coming up also later in this recording, all for you, the Purple Power. Then I found you check L and M on the newsletter, M and O, N, N, and P and Q. That newsletter is 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You go down the newsletter and apply for these incredible checks because they've been passed. They're for you, the Purple Power. And that's why viewers of this channel are cleaning up. With hundreds of thousands of dollars being obtained by Purple Power members of this channel, do it right today. Become a member and get these incredible sums of money. What are you watching? You're watching LLA, America's number one most watched financial news channel in America for this subject matter, number three overall in all financial news recording. Now with three channels, LA1, LA2, and LA3. LA1 was the original channel. LA2 features more about stimulus and also humor. With Sirloin, Virgilia and Blaine 66 back on every night on this channel and brand new humor programming coming from other characters as well on evenings on LA2. On LA3 is Wall Street and also food. If you're up early this morning, you're watching me live on LA3 on Wall Street Live, where I give you the latest of the markets as the markets open. And then more food programming is come, new food programming is coming to LA3 as well. Go into this video, join this channel or join any of the three channels and get that membership newsletter delivered from all three channels to you Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and get these massive stimulus monies across the board. Let's go back into the breaking news that we're looking at right now. And that breaking news really is the confusing data for those retail numbers. I mean, how more confusing could that be when you see that um, Gap and, uh, and, and, uh, and Macy's, Walmart, and Foot Locker all beat? They're very, very different companies, very, very different consumers at those stores, and yet they're all beating. So potentially the, the discretionary spending might be there, but not bounds left and right. And then those Fed governors really can't really agree upon the markets either. Do you find this very conflicting? I find it very conflicting. I find the apparel retail sales numbers coming in with some beating, some missing, that are very, very similar companies, confusing. I find the Fed governors right now getting very confusing because they're looking at the different data points. They're doing different predictions and they're doing different analysis. The only thing that's not confusing <laughs> is housing because housing is just a mess. Housing is in a massive crash. That is the only thing that's very consistent across the board. Oh, there's one other thing that's consistent. Stimulus. <laughs> Let's continue with those big stimulus checks. Those big stimulus checks we're going to pick up with first are checks A, B, and C. Great money. And that's what you want to do. Let's look at that check A. It is $6,500 to $12,000. A forced almost check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less. Go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less. Go get it. And this is the check that Barbara Romero just got. Spelling got it as well. How do you get it? You go on this video, become a member. Welcome to the brand new members of this channel who have joined and any of the three channels in the last 48 hours, nearly 100 new members every 48 hours. Join this channel. Get this money right today. Do not wait. The money will not be around indefinitely. Become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP. Then go down that membership newsletter. Deliver from me to you Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and apply for check A. You're not done there yet. You're going to go get check B. 
Check B is the check that led uh, Barbara Romero, Barbara Ro, uh, Ro, Romero, Romano, I'm so sorry, I'm always putting an R in there, Romano, to a whopping 18 months of Check B. Barbara Romano got nearly... I'm trying to run the numbers on this. You know, four utility or five utilities a month plus her HOA fees. Folks, that's that's four or five thousand dollars a month. And she's getting 18 months of that. I mean, that's incredible. That is close to a hundred thousand dollars right there alone. It may be a little bit less, but it's definitely more than forty thousand dollars. Then we have uh Frank Mancuso. Frank Mancuso runs the numbers for us. Here he goes. So he got Chuck B. 18 months of mortgage, 18 months of utilities. Well, there you go. Same story again. 18 months of mortgage, 18 months of utilities. Folks, that's thousands and thousands of dollars. I mean, it has to be at least $10,000. It could be even more. And then we had another view out of Florida. She got 18 months of five bills per month. That clearly for her was $8,100,000. Three different viewers. Very, very similar success stories. The numbers are almost the same. Go into this video, become a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power Casino VIP, and get these incredible checks Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Do you want tens of thousands of dollars? Well, that's where the stimulus is located. Go get it. Do not wait. Become a member right this minute. We're not done there yet because then you're going to go get some check C. Check C is for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. And check C is absolutely incredible. You go down the membership newsletter, it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. It's for rent, utilities, and more. And those success stories for Check C have been on this channel for nearly two years. LA Light started covering Check C nearly two years ago. And let's look at these sums of money. They were expanded by the executive action of Joe Biden this year. $30,000 of rent. Want it? Go get it. Look at these success stories. How about... Fifteen, eighteen thousand dollars of utilities. Go get it. Mark's brother-in-law got fifteen thousand. There's Mark. Lynn Glenn got fourteen months of utilities. Another viewer, twelve months of utilities. Two viewers, twelve months of rent at this last month. Snap a quarter million dollars for ten years for John for Mark's brother-in-law. Combinations of checks. Nisi went from twenty twenty two thousand to fifty thousand. Mark went from thirty two thousand to fifty thousand to one hundred thousand to one sixty six. Lorraine, she was at one hundred five. She went to one fifty five. Why would you not become a member? 150,000, 100,000. See these numbers happening all the time on this channel. This is the incredible success of the Purple Power. Purple Hawks, Purple Power, Calcino VIPs. You go under this video right this minute. Join the channel. Become a member. Then get that membership newsletter delivered from me to you. Watch that time again. 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern, 9 o'clock Central. Delivered via the YouTube alerts. You go right down, apply for check A, B, and C, and get ready. Because after the commercial break, I'm going to show you more checks to apply for in that same newsletter. What do you need to do? Subscribe, join the channel, and also hit that bell at the front of the channel to have all alerts set to all on. Meantime, make sure you go over to LA2 and LA3 if you're not watching that right now. Subscribe to them. It's totally free to subscribe. And hit the bell so you have all notifications set up to all on so that you won't miss extra shows, a brand new series premieres, a brand new programming coming to those other two channels. Like this show, Wall Street Live, today on episode two, currently airing live on channel three. There's a lot of money and a lot of information and that's why this channel has done so well. Because information leads and the people turn to the platform to learn here more than anywhere else. You're going to get more information in a one-hour broadcast on LA than you're going to get anywhere else because it's condensed. And I talk quickly. <laughs> In the big second half, we continue with more about this incredible stimulus, picking up with those FSCs. Then we go into inflation release stimulus checks, lifetime stimulus checks. And then we'll go back over to what happened with Congress and why the developments of Congress this week made your membership in this channel so hideously valuable. I'll go over all that great news in just a second. Plus, we'll jump back into the markets and look at where stocks are trading right now. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as Wall Street Live and Afternoons LA continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. 
That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the exam continues right now on a big, beautiful afternoons of Afternoons LA Wall Street Live. How are you doing? The markets are actually up right now on the belief that there might be a softening of Fed policy. Heard this before? <laughs> You've heard this before. It happens every darn month. Every month going into the next FOMC meeting, they say, oh, maybe the Federal Reserve is going to stop raising rates. But they're not going to stop raising rates. That they all agree upon. What they're looking at about is something I don't really cover on this channel called the Fed funds rate. And they're thinking that maybe they're going to do that, leave that a little bit higher than it currently is. Not any restrictive policy that impacts you. No, it doesn't really concern you directly. And that's what they're looking at. But let me give you the translation. The translation is it's nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> the nonsense, because the Dow is up 182 points right now. The Nasdaq is down 17 points right now, uh, and that is based upon a 150-point a jump, of course, this Friday, based upon the belief that maybe the Federal Reserve will change monetary policy. True or false? No, it's not true at all. The Federal Reserve is likely to do 50 basis points in December and says 75 basis points, but that's not something to rally up the markets a lot. I think it's just a little bit of the Santa Claus rally, which is coming up later in this broadcast. Let's continue with this big stimulus, and congratulations to all the wonderful viewers who are in the live chat. I saw you doing the commercial break. I'll jump in with you in just a second. We'll interact. The continuation of those FSC checks are huge. Check E, $7,500 stimulus check. Go get it. Check F, a $4,000 stimulus check. Wow. These are all in the membership newsletter. Check G, 30% off. Check H, $2,000 off. Wow. Incredible. Check I, $8,000. Check J, $8,000 stimulus check. And check K, $14,000. The next check is L, $100,000, an average of loan interest free money. M, $4,000 of grant money. And then we go over to Stimulus N. You know, I had a, a really nice message from Dragon, uh, one of the triple uh, members to all three channels and longtime volunteer. She said, why would someone not get Stimulus N? Stimulus N is the easiest stimulus on this channel to get. It's a brand new tablet. It's a brand new computer. It's a brand new laptop or free internet. Absolutely. This is the one that Frank Mancusa got, then, uh, then Spelly got, then Ling Glenn got. It is just absolutely incredible. And, and Dragon makes a good point. It's a very, very, very easy stimulus one to get. Do you want a brand new tablet? Just go get it. And they just send it right to you. It's so simple. Stimulus O, zero down payment, zero closing costs, and no uh, credit check required for a brand new mortgage. Stimulus P, which is uh, uh, a refi for 3% and an $8,000 of free closing costs. Wow. What do we know about these FSC checks? First, they're from the federal government. They pay it. They administer it. That's why it's in every U.S. state and every U.S. territory. It's federal law. It will not be revoked by anything that happened in the midterm elections because federal law. Number two, the larger check, $100,000. The smallest check, $8,000. Fastest routing time, two days. Johnny getting $45,000 in two days. Checks for the home, like home repairs and also new appliances. 
uh, items around the home like a computer, tablet, internet, and also more. And then we got the card. Just a lot of wonderful stuff in this incredible FSCs. 300 different checks, $300,000 of them. How do you get them? You go on this video, join the channel. Join L8, one, two, or three. Then get that membership newsletter from me to you, Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and go right in and apply, check after check after check. But you're not done there yet. Next up is ISC inflation release to most checks. They are from your state. And once you get them, they're wonderful. About $1,000, number one. Number two, uh, automatic direct deposit. All the details of each check is in the membership newsletter down at check D. Like donut, you click the button and then it lists the state and it lists the amount of the check. In fact, it lists how to track the check. And that is ISC checks. Those are from the state. Again, Congress can't revoke that. That's state law, not federal law. And the final one is lifetime stimulus checks. These are from the Social Security Administration. So again, this is not anything that Congress could change whatsoever either. Lifetime stimulus, because once your benefits go up, they never go down. How many raises are you likely to have across the board? You're likely to have five raises. Wow. 5.9% raise last year. 8.7% raise next year. That's on top of the 5.9. I should say four raises. And then a raise the year after that, because we now know from the Federal Reserve governors that there will be inflation next year, 2023 and 2024. So you're going to get two more raises. So by the fourth of the year, you're going to have four raises. And by the fourth of the year, guess what's going to happen? The price of goods is going to be the cheapest of a generation because it's going to come down as inflation is wiped away from this economy. Suddenly, the prices will be the cheapest as a bit of a generation and the amount of money you're getting in the wallet, the most of a generation. Wow. That is incredible great news. Now, with that, let's turn to the developing details of what happened this week in the Congress. And I want to touch, touch on this a little bit more so you understand it. I won't be doing this indefinitely, but I want you to understand it for now because it is so important to understand why you are separate and apart from everyone else. The Purple Power is a community I established on this channel to teach people how to empower themselves financially, how to pounce like hawks before things get worse, to pounce and get money when it's available. You've been doing a great job. Every month, thousands of members of this channel are pouncing and getting money. What you're not doing is what non-Purple Power members do. Non-members just sit around and wait for things to happen. And that sitting around to wait things to happen is now going to really smack them in the face. Let's look at what's going to happen. Next year is going to be the financial cliff. Next year is going to be the real heart of the recession. And next year is when, is, is when the dad is going to be much weaker in the economy. And guess what's also going to happen? Next year is when those people who just sort of waited around, who are not part of this community, are going to learn that this Congress is not going to pass anything for them that they were looking for. They're going to repeat words. And I see them sometimes, uh, you know, on social media. I see them sometimes sending me private messages. They say things like, Will there be another recon? No, there is not a recon unless the same political party controls both bodies of Congress. There's not going to be another recon. People ask me questions about, well, isn't there another CR coming up in December? There is another CR coming up in December. Will they put a stimulus check in the CR? Unlikely across the board. Uh, the, mid the runoff election for Herschel Walker and Raphael Warnock is not that critical because the Democrats have enough seats in the Senate that they don't really worry that Warnock wins or loses because they do have enough seats already. So they don't really have to anchor anything with a stimulus to get you to vote for Warnock as much as we originally thought. Number three, uh, the priorities of the Republicans and the Democrats are very, very different at the moment. And while they are likely to pass stimulus... You heard me right again. They're likely to pass stimulus. It's likely not to be the stimulus you're anticipating. Republicans like business stimulus. They like EIDL grants and EIDL loans and PPP, which a lot of my viewers love as well. Small business grants for small independent contractors like artisans or plumbers or painters. Yes, that could be for you. Uh, Democrats like stimulus for 
uh, low-income families and children and, and, and things for medical assistance like Medicare and, and dental and vision, very, very different priorities. Those two different priorities are so dramatically different that I don't know where the meeting of the minds will be because they're very, very different. If you're saying, I'll give you a $5,000 grant to a small business owner and the other person saying, I want vision for an elderly person, they're two different, very different ideal, uh, ideologies. And I don't see how those two ideologies merge at all. And so what's important to understand is that this channel, this community, these three channels, the Purple Power Community, it's going to go through the roof because this is stimulus for 2023. This FSC, these ISCs, these LSCs, this is stimulus for 2023. I'll always find you more FSCs. I always will. But this is stimulus for 2023. Thinking that there's something else on the horizon that is different than what I'm recording right now is wishful, but there's no indication of it at all. I mean, there's not even a glimpse of it whatsoever. This is the reality. And that's why we lead with reality across the board. Let's jump back into the markets right now and let's look and see what's going on across the board. So the market's up based upon the confusing comments from those Fed governors. I would not do that. I would not be looking at any respective stock and saying one governor said this, let's trade it up. No, because those governors are very conflicting in the data. I would not buy into any particular stock based upon a generality of the entire sector either, because you saw these sectors this morning. Target miss, Walmart beat. How about over to higher end? Macy's beat. Kohl's miss. William Sonoma beat. Target uh, gap beat. Very, very confusing data. This doesn't actually show any consistent line across the board. Earlier this year, we were able to do things like, say, Dollar General and Dollar Tree miss, because coming off a lockdown, you weren't buying a suit at Dollar General. You were going to Macy's and, and Nordstrom's to buy a suit to come off of lockdown, and that's why they beat at the time. At the moment, I don't have anything that I can say that is consistent from a Kohl's to a Gap to a Target to a Ross department store. There's nothing I can sit back. Maybe you can. Maybe you can in the live chat. Maybe there's something you see consistent among those those retailers that shows why some are being this, why are some are missing. But other than that, it's really too difficult. Finally, what's very important to say, because I haven't said it before, is that the market has already experienced since September a 10% run up. A 10% run up of stocks, appreciation of stocks since September is unusual. Why? We're in a bear market. Bear market means down. Ball market means up. And usually when you enter into late October, November, December, and especially December, you have a Santa Claus rally. The Santa Claus rally starts in December and ends in January. But the rally has already been going on in a bear market since September. So hold up. Could there still be a Santa Claus rally on top of a 10% run up since September in a bear downward market? Yes or no? I, don't, I want to see your answer right in the live chat. I want to see what you're predicting. Do you believe that the market could still go up in a Santa Claus rally in December, which always generally happens? even though we've already had a 10% run up since September of stocks in a bear market. It's as though saying, wait, are we going to go at 20% since September with a Santa Claus rally in place? Jump in the live chat. I want to see the answers from you, yes or no. Do you think we can go up any more than we are? Or do you think it's going to lose steam where we are across the board? Um, that uh, what's important to understand is that this is really important. One viewer in the live chat saying right now, no. Uh, and another viewer um, saying, uh, I want that tablet. <laughs> absolutely. I want that tablet. It is absolutely incredible. So what's important to understand is that I don't think that a traditional Santa Claus rally may be as sustainable as we would once thought a few weeks ago. The fact that we have run up so much in September, of up 10% this market in a bear market, leads me to question, can we go up another 10% in the month of December? I mean, that would be 20% up since September in a bear market because of Santa Claus rally. We generally always have Santa Claus rallies, number one. 
we generally don't go up 20% in a bear market. So one of the not normal things is going to have to change. <laughs> Which one is it? Hard to tell. And of course, that's why we're here every mornings on air. Thank you for joining me for the second episode of Wall Street Live that also airs this afternoon's LA on LA One. Wall Street Live every morning at about 8 a.m. P- Pacific Standard Time, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on LA3 and afternoons LA every day at 3 o'clock from the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's been a beautiful, beautiful day, and thank you for joining me across the board. I'll see you next up on mornings on L81 if you're watching me live. That's coming up in just a second. Make sure you become a member because this is the money you need to get. It's a confusing economy, and it's only going to get even more confusing. For the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful day, and I'll see you next on L81 on Mornings Live. <laughs>